so we shall see. Um, okay, I'm going to hit the record button. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. We're starting a little bit early today. Um, I have been able to stream in like, what, three weeks or something? Um, and I've got a backlog of stuff to show you guys. So. Let's see what we can do. Oh, why is my chat not scrolling? Why is the chat not scroll? That's so weird. Okay, there it is. Be careful with the music. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how do you open links? You want to put in your magic link? Let's see. Allow URLs. There we go. Okay, there. If you want to put your magic link in, Eileen, fix the chat because it's not scrolling. I don't know why. That's weird. Okay, Carol. Uh, anyway, I saw this yarn uh, online and I was going to do something else with it. Um, but then I saw the Crescent Moon Shawl and that's what this is, Crescent Moon Shawl. But it, I only had one skein. So I had to order um, three more. So because <laughs> I decided to change my pattern. So anyway, that's what I was doing with this. So it's coming today, so I'll be able to continue working on this. Um, I did finish a sweater for my mom. Um, however, I stitched it up wrong, so I'm going to have to unstitch two seams and fix it. But it's just a white fluff. It's, there's really nothing to see. But I wanted to show you all that. And then I went shopping. And, uh, of course, I bought more yarn. <laughs> more yarn. Um, <clears throat> which was my original intent for going to that shopping site for yarn. Um, because I have a project in mind for that. But, anyway. Um, yeah. Okay. Ramble. Stop rambling. Okay. So, I went shopping. And I had seen this paper line. This is Graphics 45 Time to Flourish. Let's see if I can get the light to not glare. Time to flourish. Oh, my anyway, title is right there. Um, anyway, this is gorgeous paper. Um, so, of course, I went whole hog and got, you know, most of the set. Um, and I was hoping that Kathy would do something with it, and she did. She, in her photo folios 2, this is Kathy Orta, Paper Phenomenon. So in her photo folios 2 that she's just come up with, um, one of them is a calendar, um, and the pages are like, inside them it's like 8x8 eight eight or something. So I got the 8x8 eight eight regular pad, and this has, this is the dates. Let's see, yeah, links are open, yeah. So there's two two pages per, and the eight by eight is, uh, as far as I can tell, exactly the same as the twelve by twelve except in size. So that's that's the thing here. But there's two pages, so you get uh, a cut apart page, and then you get a background page, and then of course it's double sided, so there's two backgrounds for each one. So it's really cool paper. I'm not going to show it all to you, but it's really cool paper. And then they also have what's the calendar pad, which also has, there's two, um, like two for June, and this is May. Okay, so there's, and you get two of each. So if you want to use two calendars or the calendar and the background page, you can do that. But that's, you know, it's the whole month, I mean, the whole year. So that's an extra, uh, extra pad. And then set that down. And then I got the uh, card pack. Let's see, these are called journaling and ephemera cards. There's 24, and there's they're four by six. Um, and the back is pretty much the same. Oh, it's it's like a ledger page, um, but they're they're slightly different. But it's still the same kind of ledger page. It's just you know like cut from a big you know a big page, which they're just you know like moving the designs around or something. So but there's like two of each one, and uh, I guess, I don't know if it goes by month. I haven't really paid attention. Um, it probably does match the months, but anyway, um, 
flip through real quick. But they're they're very pretty. And I was surprised they're they're thinner than what I was thinking because the cards they have are usually pretty thick. But um, this isn't. So this is this really nice. But I like that that set. And then of course I've got this is the what do they call these things? Um, doodly doodly do. Um, they're punch outs. I don't know what they call them, but they're punch outs. And this is the set that the two come together. Um, this is a set for the time to flourish, but they're beautiful. They're just really beautiful. They're little envelopes and little pockets and tags and things. But they're very cute. Um, and I'm sure I'll find a use for them in the project. So I'm going to do that calendar folio. Uh, this is a sticker sheet. It has borders and tags and buttons. I mean, there's just all kinds of things on here. Very cool. And of course, and this is the 12 by 12. So a nice big pad, bigger cut of parts. So there's quite a variety of choices here. So and I love choices. <laughs> I love my options. Everything has to have multi-purpose. Okay, so um, that's a project after the holidays. Okay, so what I'm working on right now is this is the Tim Holtz um, clock assembly kits that he had and then he started uh, putting up the instructions on his Etsy so I went and got the instructions now I have to say there's some things left out of the instructions but I figured it out so it wasn't too bad but I don't know if you guys can even see in there let me see if you can ah, turn it and I had to glue it in I couldn't wait I had to glue it in <laughs> because <laughs> it takes a long time for all the stuff to dry so I had to get this far so all I basically all I have left to do since I've already lined the back and I've done all the decorating on the miniatures inside all I have to do now is put the snow on the bottom and put this is the little lantern you can plug it in so you can see how cute it is see how cute <laughs> so it goes in here and you make a dent you make a dent in the lid in the tip there with the I don't know if this is gonna you can be able to see this or not but it's so darn cute it's just really really cute Dee Dee says please record fluffy oh okay <laughs> yes I'm recording <laughs> gotcha Dee Dee <laughs> Anyway, that goes in here, and then the battery pack goes on with Velcro on the back of the lid. So, well, it's not exactly a lid, but you know what I mean, the back of the darn thing. Anyway, <laughs> so all I have to do is put the snow down here under the, uh, the miniatures. So what he did was just pour loose glitter in there. Uh-uh. <laughs> no, 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 no. I am not doing loose glitter. No way, no how am I doing loose glitter. So, um, I had seen uh, Paula Cheney's website where she made snow. Okay, and she made snow with glossy accents and then glitter. Okay, now she used the Ranger glitter, but I had this glitter, so that's what I used. I don't know what brand it is. It's in a different container than it than it normally would be because this was more convenient but anyway um, so I made snow inside so it has all the let's see if I can get it without if I get me closer with light oh this is hard okay you guys can kind of see the snow okay it's all around the the bottom here and, and all that well I'll do a picture and put it on Twitter and you can see it but it's it's really really cute. Um, so I had to improvise a little bit with my miniatures because I had different trees. Um, I couldn't find the package, his package, Tim Holtz package of trees, except for the great big ones. So I didn't have any of the little ones. So I just, I happened to have trees. I had used a bunch of loose trees uh, to decorate my table with for a party last year. And so um, I used those. Um, Anyway, and I didn't also didn't have, there's a little metal strip 
um, what do they call them? Trim something trim. Anyway, it's a sticker, but it's the metal tape. You know, it's like metal tape. So I didn't my metal tape. Now, let me let me advise you here on um, what not to do <laughs> with your vagabond. <laughs> OK, um, please, ladies, always check your sandwich before you run things through your machine because they tend to get a little mangled. <laughs> OK, um, these were were decorative strips that you run through, right? Um, and they used to be perfectly straight <laughs> and in one piece, but um, <laughs> I forgot to check my sandwich stack and I had been cutting the, um, here, let me just grab. I had been cutting these little guys, you know, these little, okay, wafer thin. I've been cutting these guys and left the sandwich all together. And I just picked up the whole thing and put it back in the vagabond and put these in. Oh, mistake. Because I had that thick shim in there, that eighth inch shim. Oops. Yeah, so it kind of mangled all of my, uh... and of course I had to put two in there at once. So I messed up both of them. However, <laughs> I was able to salvage a little bit of this one. It wasn't quite as mangled on this end as it, it was. So I kind of matched it up and kind of got my, my design there anyway. And then I used decorative scissors. This is a, a tiny scallop, a tiny scallop. And then I cut a sliver from this. And this is the um, foil tape, OK? So I was able to salvage my project anyway. <laughs> um, just a little, okay, I gotta make this work. What can I do, right? So anyway, see how it, it just, you know, like mangled the tape. It's like, ew. So anyway, I'm not throwing that out because I might can use it for something. I'm not throwing these away either. I'm still thinking I can salvage them somehow. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I got my little decorative strip on there. And of course, I didn't, it's not um, his strip and his has the um, coloring on it. So I just took my um, marker, my faithful friend, my Brad Pitt black Faber Castell uh, marker, and you can see how mangled the tip is. <laughs> But I use it for coloring edges and doing things like this. So I put it on there and rubbed it off and it worked great. So I still have aged tin. Okay. Um, yeah. And so I don't know, maybe if I put the backing on, you can kind of see. I don't know if you can see that snow any better, but oh, darn. Let me see if I can get up here to, yeah, you can see it a little bit by the overhead light. There, so you can, and you can see the sparkle. If I tilt it a little bit, maybe you can see it sparkle. I don't know, it's kind of hard to see, but I've got um, two of the same size trees. And so what I did was I had some little tiles, little clay tiles, and I just stacked three of those up and put that tree and that gives me my height. So we're good there. Yeah, and it has the little, light. I know the little light is so cute. So anyway, uh, like I said, I made the snow like Paula Chaney. Um, and this is probably the closest that, you know, I'm going to get to snow this year. So, you know, here's my snow and this stuff dries. It's really hard. <laughs> so she mixed um, glitter and glossy accents and it doesn't take as much glossy accents as you think. Now she gave a really good tip um, on her, her blog, she says to uh, make it the consistency of brown sugar, which is perfect. That's the perfect thing. And this stuff sticks. I mean, it, it really does. It sticks. Um, so what I did was I have a, this little cup has, uh, where's my other one here? This is a Del Monte fruit cup. Okay. And it has these ridges on the inside. You can hear. Okay. 
And so I just took a piece of skewer because I didn't have a popsicle stick. And to mix it, you rub along that ridge and it really helps mix it. I was amazed. It, that was, it just made it go so easy. It takes a few minutes to stir it up, but you know, it, it works great. I mean, it's just perfect. Scrape the piece out. <laughs> Oops. So anyway, that's the snow. And so I'm going to fill this bottom portion up with the snow mixture. So I'm not having loose glue on here. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> no how, no way. <laughs> Much too messy. And uh, I'm containing all of the mess to this cookie sheet. Okay. I'm trying to avoid having glue absolutely everywhere. The clocks, yeah. I got three of them. I don't know why I ordered three. Whoops, upside down. I don't know why I ordered three. I don't know what I'm going to do with the other two, but I'll think of something, I suppose. Because um, that one's for mom. So maybe if she finds a place for that, maybe I'll do just a regular normal one with flowers in it or something. Or I don't know. We'll figure it out. But they were like half off. Yeah, at Joanne's. And I had gone, what did I go for? I don't even know what I went on the website for. Anyway, I ended up spending way too much money. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Okay, so um, I was going to explain this die to you guys. Um, this is the little star uh, die, and this is called, what's it called? Star Bright 3D. Okay, so anyway, it has two sizes of stars on it. It has this one, and then it has a smaller one. Um, and I guess you guys have cut it out enough where you can see it, what it looks like. Okay, that thing's heavy. Steel rule die. Ooh, very heavy. Anyway, um, I was going to explain how to um, cut these out. I mean, put them together. So I'm going to find a place to put that. <laughs> Got too much stuff on the desk. Okay. Um, so what I do is instead of gluing the little tabs on the inside, I put them on the outside. That way you get a, a little extra on your star. And I'll stuff it with like a cotton ball or a wadded up tissue or, you know, something. But you want to, so what you want to do is when you cut them out, make sure that you've got them either right sides together or wrong sides together. So you'll cut two pieces at the same time. So you can do that if you want to. Um, it depends on your die. Some of these will cut right through the paper, so you have to be careful. Um, I don't know. I haven't tried it on the Big Shot, so I don't know what that would do, but... The Vagabond is pretty strong, so it sometimes it'll cut, you know, all the way through instead of just making the fold. But you have to, you know, test it out and see how, how it goes. Hey, Carrie. So, um, anyway, what I do is I will take a flaps and glue them over on the top and, you know, line it up. So I'll do three. I'll do, you know, one, two, three, and then I'll stuff it. And then I'll do the last one, uh, you know, as carefully as you can, you do the last ones. And then, because sometimes during the process, it'll flatten. So I just take a, a pen, not a pen, not a writing pen, a stick pen. What is my stick pen? Oh, now I can't find my pen. <laughs> oh, here it is. Okay. So what I have, I have a lot of quilters pens, these long quilters pens. So you can stick that in there and puff it back up, you know, before you get too far. Because there's, there's little openings. I mean, it's not perfectly sealed. You can get in. There's several points where you can get in. Like here's a big one right here. You can like puff it up. And then you can get in the tip and puff it up if you flatten it out accidentally. So it's not a big deal. And of course in storage, they'll probably get flattened out, but that's okay too. You know, no big deal. Um, anyway, you do that as carefully as you can, and before you do the last one, you want to puff everything up, and then do the last one, and I like to hold it like this. Um, you see how 3D it is, right? So you can just puff, 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 but it's um, easy to run your string through. Just crochet thread or pearl cotton or, you know, your cord, you know, if you have uh, like silver cord, gold cord, whatever. Just so long as you use the appropriate size needle to go through the paper, you're good. Okay. Hey, Jean. So anyway, that's how I do it. 
because trying to get these tabs on the inside and get everything lined up, that is really hard. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah. So I like to do it on the outside. And not only that, it gives you a little extra oomph to your stars. And I can't find my, I did one um, Zentangle one at the retreat, but I can't find it. I don't know what I did with it. I can't find it. So anyway, I did a Zentangle one and you know, but I can't find it. Okay. Anyway, so that's how you put the star together. That's how I do it. Okay. Um, okay. The next thing I wanted to show you was I have a little improvement on my origami lantern. Okay. So, um, okay. Let me, let me, uh, since I have, I'm not going to be able to get it out of there real quick, easily. Um, this is a little ornament I made. It's an eight sectioned one. And it has a little number at the top. So let me get it out. Okay, now let me put this little case down. I just had that case laying around. I don't even know what that was for. But anyway, <laughs> um, I made the ornament and it hangs, and it's three inch strips. Okay, and the number seven doesn't mean anything. It's it's just I grabbed it to you know to put in there on one of the um, Tim Holtz um, pin things. It's kind of like a clip at the top, a jump ring at the top, and you can stick stuff in there. Uh, and that just it just kind of sits in the middle. It's really cool. But let me show you. Yeah, let me show you um, what I've done. This one just has a simple hanger. It's just a string. I can get situated in the camera here with a bead on the bottom and it just slips right out. See, it's not nothing permanent. I like options, so there's nothing permanent there. But you know, you can make it as long as you need to. You can just get to do your measurements yourself, depending on how long you want it to hang. And you can put charms, fringes, you know, whatever you want on the end of it. Um, but I've made an eight section one and I've just closed it with a paper clip, and you don't even see the paper clip. This way, you can fold it up. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can fold it up and uh, be able to store it. And what I was thinking to store it in was the Tim Holtz uh, die that I just got, which is the little matchbox. But it doesn't fit. <laughs> it's not three inches long. It doesn't fit. But I had that in my head. So instead, <laughs> I'm going to use envelopes. I've got things scattered around the room because I was keeping them out to show you guys and then I couldn't stream. Darn internet. Um, anyway, so I thought to keep it in a coin envelope and I have different sizes of coin envelopes. But this one will hold two since it's a six inch envelope. But you can slip two of them in there you know, for storage. Um, easy, easy, easy to store. So anyway, what I did, okay, I took each section and I stuck it all together. So this is what you would do if you were doing a book. Okay, of course you'd finish the covers if you were doing a book and put a spine on it. But since this is an ornament, um, I didn't mind, you know, bother doing the, the end. But it's the same folds that we did with the big lantern that we made last time I streamed. And uh, it's an eight section. So all you do is fasten it with a paper clip when you want to hang it. When you you know you lay in your your hanger and you close it up and you hang it. And it's not really going anywhere. You know, your hanger's not really going anywhere. So and then if you wanted to this the reason I did this was if you wanted to do place setting, if you wanted to do um I had an, I, a picture in my head, okay, of, and I don't know why I've got weddings on the brain. Nobody's getting married that I know of, so I don't know what's going on. But anyway, uh, I was thinking doing it in shades of white and cream, you know, and uh, the, you know, the little cake topper that comes on the, the uh, wedding cake, right? We'll put the, the little cake topper on top of here and put it in the case, you know, a little dome of some sort. Um, you know, like a bell jar, 
you know, you could do that and, you know, make the size appropriate. You know, you could do larger if you wanted to. But for a wedding cake and then ha give that to them, the uh, bride and groom for their first anniversary, wouldn't that be cute? Or just as a keepsake, you know, after the wedding, just as a keepsake. Very cute. Anyway, this, anyway, rambling on. Okay, so I made an improvement since I did this. You know, I showed you to do your inside piece and then do the trimming and then stick it in and all that. Okay, I have an improvement for you on that score. All right, let me move these things here. Okay, so you do your accordion folding for your base. And I apologize for the uh, scrap paper, <laughs> but I was in a hurry. Um, so you do your accordion fold for the base, just like we did uh, on the last stream for your, the large one. And then, okay, what you're going to do is, here's the improvement. Let me unfold it first. All right. Here's the improvement. All right. And you're doing this with double-sided paper. Okay. So you do another three-inch strip. Now, of course, you do 12 by 12 and you get four sections, but I was doing eight and a half by 11, so I had to go with nine inches. All right, so um, instead of doing all that extra cutting, what you can do is do the inside piece in one piece, okay? So you would fold it into three or four to get your folded into squares, okay? You want to match your valley folds. Okay. Just like just like the, the basic fold here. Okay. Just like this basic inside piece. All right. And what you want to do is you're going to take your first square. Okay. And you're going to go ahead and accordion fold the whole thing. Just like you did this. Okay. Now here's here's where it starts being different. Okay. So you've got your accordion folds. And you can train your paper to go both ways. So that, that would just make everything easier. So what you're going to do then is you're going to, to do in the one square, you're going to do a triangle. You're going to triangle it the other way. Okay. And what you're going to end up with See what that's doing? It's doing that same basic, the same basic inside fold that I taught y'all last time. Okay, the same basic fold. You're going to do the same thing with each one. Triangle, triangle, and look what you get. Triangle, triangle, and look what you get. And now, once everything is folded where it should be, and voila, keep in mind this is just a sample piece. It's shorter than yours will be. Look here. No trimming. <laughs> no extra cutting. And there you have your little lantern. This is a try one, but, you know, the triple. But there you go. You have your little lantern with just folding. There's, and you're only cutting your strips, and then you're scoring. So, if you take a 12 by 12 strip, a 12 by 12 sheet, okay, take uh, three inch strips, so you have three by 12s, you'll have four sections. Okay, which is what I did to start this one. I had four sections. So that's why this one is eight, because I put the two sections together. Okay. You take a second, your second one, three inch strip, and you fold it this way. And then you've got your lantern. Without all that excess cutting and all of that other stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> this just makes it so much easier, especially if you're doing little ornaments. These are so cute. They're just really, really cute. But I'm just, I can just go on and on with this. I mean, <laughs> this is not what we're, not all we're doing today, but I just, I had to show you that, you guys, this, this was just too cute. And of course you can do, if you have, this is a, 
a triple section. So if you do another triple section, then you've got a star. So you've got another star. This is, oh, that's only a five point. Oh, well. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. You can see half of it. So you could do a star. But that just makes it a lot easier to do your folds. So I'm going to try this with a big one. And um, of course, you use double sided paper, and it makes it makes life a lot easier. Now, another tip if you don't have double sided paper, take your um, 6x6 or 8x8 because I don't have a 12x12 12 12 printer. So most of us don't. So you just take your, of course, I can't find the 6x6 six six I cut. Where are you? There you are. So you could just take your, um, six by six and tape it to your eight and a half by eleven paper after you have done registration marks of course to mark off where you're going to print okay and what you print um, is graphics online um, they're scrapbook um, graphics okay for 12 by 12s and you know you need background paper or you can make your own you know whatever scan stuff you know whatever you want to do but the main idea is to print on the back of your single-sided paper. So you have your paper, okay, and you just print on it. That's how I did the little squares here. I just printed, I keep forgetting where the camera is. It's not centered. It's driving me crazy. Yeah, there we go. So I had to print on the back of my scrapbook paper, my single-sided scrapbook paper. I printed a Christmas scene on the other side, so I've got my double-sided paper. It makes it much, much easier. You've got less bulk. You know, you don't have to glue things together, and it just makes it much, much easier to make. So you can do that. You can cut your you can cut your 12 by 12 down to eight and a half by 11. Stick that in the printer, and it'll print on this side. You don't have to have any registration marks or anything. Just print. So. You're good. Anyway, that's how you can get double-sided paper. I know it uses a lot of ink, but you know, if you're if you're going to do a certain project and you know you're going to do a certain project, just buy you know a couple extra ink cartridges and you're good. Okay. So, um, any questions about the origami lantern folding? <laughs> Because we're going to move along. Oh, and I did tell you, you put each section together, right? And glue everything together. I think I did. Okay. Anyway, all right, so I'm going to stick this in here now. Oh, I forgot to show you this one. <laughs> this is a little one. It's just four. It's a miniature of the big one. You know, this big one that I originally showed you guys. So that's just the miniature. And I didn't ink edges or anything. And this was before I figured out to fold it without all the cutting. So, but anyway, you can do, and it's it's very cute. You know, and my hand's in the way. But it's very cute, and it, it, you know, it hangs. And you just, you know, put a bead or something on the bottom. And, you know, there you go. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, here's the, that's why this is here. Okay, this is a staple puller that the plastic handles have come off. Um, this was in a, a box of miscellaneous stuff, and I'm like, what the heck is that? <laughs> so I finally figured it out. So it's a staple puller. So what I do with this is I open jump rings with it. Okay. Um, and I saw this somewhere online. It was probably Pinterest a while back. I don't really remember. But um, you can open jump rings with the staple puller. Okay, save your fingernails. Okay. Okay, who has come in? Let's see. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Jeannie. Hi, Barb. Hi, Janet. Um, I don't know who else has come in, but hello. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, Hints, tips. Okay, there we go. For all this in one spot. Oh, and one more thing. I keep forgetting. I, there were so many things I wanted to show you guys. I got behind. 
<laughs> now this I was just using the scraps and I ended up cutting into um, I'm going to have to fix this. But something else you can do with this, you make an ornament holder out of this. If you put the inside sections together, you'll see this in a second because you can't really tell right now what I'm doing until I get it all together. But um, there. Okay. So you put three together and you have an ornament. And I still don't have an ornament. I can't put, I don't have an ornament. Uh, okay, we'll just, we'll just pretend that's an ornament. Anyway, it'll sit in the paper, okay? You just stick the non-folded sections together, and then you've got a triangle on the bottom and a triangle on the top, and then you just put your ornament in there, and you have it. If you have a special ornament, or if you're doing place settings, or, you know, anything, just, we'll pretend that's a, that's an ornament. Anyway, you have, oh, now I've loosened all my snow. See, I don't mind the glitter when it's in chunks. <laughs> it's when it's loose that it bugs me. I've still got loose glitter, but at least it's in here and not in the other part of the house. Okay, let's see if I can get that now. All right, so, um... Okay, I've showed you this, so let me go ahead and dismantle, or I need the clips. All right, let me dismantle that, and we can dismantle them and fold them up. Ta-da, you're done. <laughs> okay, you can store those too. Now, what I was talking about a while ago was the little matchbox. I've got uh, corners stored in this one. But I don't know if you guys remember, uh, I showed you guys how to make this. Oh, gosh, this is heavy little cabinet. Um, I think from the, what she called it, a candy box die. It was Eileen Hull from Sizzix. The candy box die, I believe. But anyway, they're little drawers, right? So I have all of my metal embellishments from Tim Holtz and maybe some other things um, in these little drawers. Okay. All my little metal embellishments. So what I was going to do is if I do another one, and I, I need kind of um, another one because this one is full and it's really heavy, but I was wanting to do, and this, I don't know what catalog this was out of, but I've seen them um, where they have a metal piece on the door, on the front of the drawer. And what I would like to do is do one like this. Now, um, I have done uh, repoussé, which is metal work okay which is actual metal work um, and I've got the stuff you know where I could do that or I could just use the metal tape the metal tape would be simpler and instead of using the hand tools and drawing it all the thing yourself you could run it through the vagabond or the big shot or whatever and do your texture for the front of the drawer so that's something else I wanted to show you guys I don't have time to make it right now but you get the idea and you understand what I'm talking about because I know we've all you know, done stuff like that. So you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, it's also possible to do it with the little matchbox die as well. You could do, you know, you have smaller drawers, but you could still do the same thing. Just do it in strips. Okay, let me see if I can get that back up there. All right. Get that out of there. Okay, now my... Uh, main project for myself recently is, well, I'm going to have to back the camera up a little bit, I see. Um, this is, here, let me open it, go ahead and open it up. I hate it when people don't open things and they stand there talking for 10 minutes and you're like, open the book, open the book. <laughs> okay, so let me uh, fix my camera out just a bit so you can see the book laid out. Um, what? Um, okay, I'm seeing chat now. I'm like, Carol says, metal pie pans will emboss super great as well. Oh, that's true. And we, with holidays, we all have metal pie pans hanging around. Yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> oh, something else that'll work is um, Coke cans. You just cut it with your Timmy scissors and you have your Coke cans. I think that's probably, let me see, one more. 
Okay, I had to do it slow because when I do it too fast, it screws the camera up. <laughs> and it's like, you want me to do what? <laughs> and then it hangs up and freezes. So it's like, oh, bummer. Okay, so. Um, okay, so what, what I've done, this is Kathy Orta Paper Phenomenons, Photofolios 2, number 1. Okay, so Photofolios 2, number 1. That's what that's what's going on here. However, I have made some modifications as usual um, to to the folio. So it's not exactly a folio anymore. Let me see if I can scoot it. There we go. So we move this. Okay. Anyway, uh, this strip is going to go down the center of the book. So what I've done, she doesn't use any um, chipboard on her folios, but I was having difficulty with it. Uh, opening and closing and it was kind of floppy for me and I don't like that. So what I've done, I split the folio into two and I had some black chipboard and so I have done the cover, the hard cover, with black chipboard. And this is gaffer tape and my envelopes are sliding out. I'm in the process of matting. But you can see my cover is done except for the decoration on the front, which I'll leave till last because I don't want to mess it up. Um, I need it to lay flat. So. But anyway, if you go on YouTube, you can see what, what hers looks like. And um, this, there's magnets everywhere. Um, but this slips inside here. And I haven't got that matted yet, so it's not as strong as it should be. And there's a brad. Where's my brad? Okay, there's a little brad that goes here and the envelopes fan out. Okay, really cute, really cute. Um, I only have the first one matted. So here's my here's my first envelope and there's a magnet to keep this one closed, although you don't really need a magnet on the rest of them. It makes it kind of bulky, but there's a magnet on this one. Anyway, so here's an envelope and you put your ephemera and stuff and, and or whatever you want in there. Um, the next section this is the photograph section. So I've got this part um, partly matted. Okay, it opens up. And then your photos, well, well let me move it over just a little bit so you can, can't see that. Okay, so here's the, the photo. So this is a waterfall or a cascade type of thing. And I don't have that cute little stamp that says put photo here, but it's just mine, so <laughs> I know what to do with it. And then you've got, you know, places for your photos there. And then you open this whole thing. You close that back up. And it, this whole thing opens. And then you've got your vertical photos, which I don't have any mats on these at all. But you can see. And you can get, like, 25 photos in this section. Just that section. 25 photos. That's awesome. Uh, this is the uh, closure that's not done yet of course but okay so this is one side okay and so I've like I said I split the folio in half and put it on to the cart the uh, chipboard because I like a hard cover I just have trouble with um, flopping around and you know I just didn't like it so okay so <laughs> this side has magnets on the the closures okay of course, you have pockets everywhere. You know how Kathy loves pockets, and we love Kathy because she loves pockets. There's a fold out here. Um, there's pockets here. There's pockets here. This is a stacked, what she call these stacked pockets or something? I don't know. Anyway, there's pockets here. And then open that section, and there's a flap here. There's a pocket here. Uh, oh, but one piece of paper stuck down. <laughs> And this is the same, this section is the same as the first one. And then the smaller section has flip throughs. You can put pictures. And there's a pocket here and a pocket here. So you can do that. And then you open that up, and here's some more stacked pockets here. Of course, that's not glued down either, but um, that piece is probably going there. I'm not sticking it down yet, but anyway. So that's what uh, what this is. And of course, there's magnets, and they do tend to stick to each other, <laughs> which is kind of fun and can be kind of annoying. <laughs> you just have to watch it. 
don't put it near your computer or your cell phone or your tablet. Because <laughs> I don't know what these magnets will do. So I'm kind of avoiding that. I'm, I'm just, just saying, you know, watch the magnets. But anyway, this is, this is um, my December daily for this year. Um, I am in process of printing photos. My first one for December 1st is the actual photo uh, of the folio because it's in the folio stage at this point because um, I had done you know, exactly what she did for the base and so then in Photoshop elements I have written my journaling right on the photo um, and just telling that I made the base and you know that was December 1st so that's what I what I had wanted to do was put one picture for every day in in the cascade over here that's what I had thought I was going to do. I'm not sure I'm going to do that, but um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, that's the thought in my head that, that I want to do it that way. But we'll see. Anyway, um, so then you cut your four by six and you, you know, stick it wherever it goes. <laughs> I think the hardest part is picking the pictures to print. Uh, yeah, that takes me a long time. But that's okay, you know. That's that's just what it does. Okay, so um, this little piece is going to go here, and then I've got to cut um, other piece. She did this little detail, which is really cute. That caught my eye right away. Um, and then you map, you know, you map this side and cover up your magnets and all that, and you get your tags and everything. So you put lots and lots of photos or. Uh, you can do, you know, your journaling and stuff. So what I was kind of thinking was taking, um, not this paper, but um, a, um, a vintage looking paper. And I have, uh, I have a pack that, that I think I'm going to use, um, but you can journal on it. So I would hand write um, various things. And I'm not going to tell myself I have to do this every day because I just I won't follow through. I never do because something always happens. I get stopped and I never get back to it and it is I hate getting behind and it just I don't know, it just sits there. So what I'm going to do is when I feel like writing something, I will. And it doesn't have to be, you know, um, something that happened in sequence. Okay, I don't have to keep it in sequence. So that's that's another thing that bugs me sometimes is not keeping things in sequence, but I have to get over that. <laughs> I really do. I have to get over that. So anyway, um, so you can make photo mats, you know, you can make fold outs photo mats and stick them in these pockets. And I thought maybe on this this first flap, I might put like my Christmas list on the inside that way when it's closed, nobody can see the list, but I know where the list is. Um, that would be, you know, like hiding it sort of until after Christmas. Of course, I'm not going to show this to anybody until after Christmas because in my photos, I've been taking pictures every day of different things. Um, so I lost my train of thought. Um, <laughs> I hate when that happens. <laughs> what I was thinking was not showing it because I've got pictures of gifts in progress. Okay, so I don't want anybody to see that until, you know, it's Christmas is over and everybody's got their gifts. Okay, so that's, um, that goes this way. So I'm going to put that down the center. So, I, so my uh, cover is the hard cover and of course this is going to have a magnet on it and it's going to be decorated and everything but I've got to I'm going to shape this somehow probably like maybe shape it like that I don't know but anyway I've got some things that need to go more glitter ah. <laughs> um, yeah I've got to clean that up uh, I'll decorate this after I'm done uh, with the inside you know matting all the inside and everything so the paper lines that I'm using, I've got three different li paper lines, okay? So uh, I'm going to leave this lane here. What I've got is, this is an older one. This this one is the Paper Studio. I've got it Hobby Lobby. 
um, year before last, I think. So that's like two years old. Um, oh, that's my cutting guide. Okay, so I can see that. All right, so I'll get this folder. Oops. So mainly what I'm using now is Bow Bunny. Um, the Rejoice pack. And I think this is like two years old too. I'm not quite sure, but this is part of the stickers. Where's the other side? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. So that's there. There's the 12 by 12 sticker sheet right there. So this is from the Rejoice collection. Yeah, from 2012. Okay, so Bow Bunny Rejoice. That's the sticker sheet. And then I've got a bunch of extra with the same kind of colors that um, I had started using in um, another December daily. And so I'm just going to keep using these stickers because these are all the colors I like. The dark red and the dark green. And then, um, oh, there's another one. That one, not so much, but, you know. And then, of course, the cardstock, you know, the dark red and the dark green cardstock. And then, um, the, I've cut up most of these already, but you can kind of see. This is still the Rejoice. And it wasn't um, a pack. I didn't get it in a pack. I got sheets. I don't know why. Maybe they didn't have a pack. I don't remember. But this is just gorgeous. Gorgeous paper. And then let's see if I have, oh yeah, here's some more. Okay. So here's another piece. And I'm showing it to you like this because I'm hoping to get inspired to mat this book today. <laughs> but this is so beautiful. I mean, that's the same. And the stripe. Oh my god, I love this stripe. It's gorgeous. I love both sides of that one. That is really hard to choose which side to use. And then that's the other side. So I've got two, two of those. Um, actually, I think I had three of those. And then this, this one here is the one I used on the envelope. Okay, that's the Bow Bunny. And then I have Kaiser Craft. Um, what's this one called? Twig and Berry. Okay. Kaiser Craft Twig and Berry. And I've used most of this up on other things. So I just have a little, you know, a few pieces of it left. So there really isn't a whole lot of that left. So that's um, that's my paper collection. Well, two paper, three paper collections, actually. So let me get the paper. I'm trying to pick this up back in order. Because if it gets too confused, it bugs me. So I'm putting my stickers back in the hair. I have a folder with all of this. It has to be contained in this folder because I don't have counter space. So it has to be in a folder. Okay. Put this back on top of that, and then I can pick this up. I also have the six and a half by four and a half pad for this one. So I figure maybe on some of these um, cascades that need to be mounted uh, that I can use the that paper stack for those or some of them anyway um, okay let's see where else was I going with this um, I showed you that and I split the folio and put it on here I also rounded the corners I don't know if you noticed that but I rounded the corners let's see um, I'm suddenly stuck. Okay. Um, <laughs> that was weird. Okay, so I don't know if I want to go ahead and map this or not. Or I don't think I'm in the mood to map, so probably not. But if I try it, I might mess up something. And I really don't want to do that. So I'm not really in the mood to map. But I got my base done, and that's really cool. So I guess what I could do is cut... Um, 
I don't have anything to cut for this one, so it's all cut out already. I've already done all of my parts. Oh, I've got to take that out of there. Because I don't really know what else I want to go on there. This is my favorite. <laughs> that was my favorite paper. I love that. Love that. Oh, thanks, guys. Um, yeah, so anyway, this is what my December daily looks like this year. And this one's going to get finished, okay? Oh, I know. I can show you the other one. That's what I can do. Set that down. I think it's raining. <laughs> okay, so I've attempted December dailies before. And something always happens and I get stopped. And then I'm like, don't want to get back to it for some odd reason or other. Okay, so I'm going to show you the first one I tried. And I, I've almost finished it. I love those little cookie sheets. Yay, dollar store. Okay. Oh, let me close the book. I have, these rings are driving me crazy. This is not how I'm going to bind it. Like I'm going to do something a little different. So, anyway, um, I had this. I forgot. This comes. This came. Something somebody gave me, and it was um, like a cover the box or something. It was a plastic. Anyway, you fold it out, and it covered the box. But this way, it looks like an envelope. So I thought, well, I'd stick the cover in here. So that would be easy enough. All right. Um, so, no, oh, my ring came undone. Oh, see, I don't like these rings. And they know I don't like them. <laughs> these are the, totally the wrong rings. Let me see if I can fix this real quick before it totally falls apart. Because that would not be good. Okay, let me see if I can get it fixed. This is not a very good ring. It's really loose. All right, now you behave yourself. All right, let's try that again. You won't come loose this time. Okay. Anyway, I have something I had printed and was going to put there, but I can't find it at the moment. It's around somewhere. Now, this was 2009. Let me see. I need to zoom in on this a little bit, don't I? Okay, let me zoom in the camera because it's smaller. So let me zoom in. I have to do this a step at a time. It doesn't go crazy and lock up on me. Little at a time. Okay, that's close enough. Nah, we'll do it this way. All right. So I started this one on Thanksgiving um, just because that's the start of the holiday season for our family. You know, we start getting together and, you know, planning holidays and whatnot. And we have an extended family, which means we have grandchildren and step-grandchildren and um, you know it, it gets confusing anyway <laughs> so everybody has to coordinate so it gets a little difficult <laughs> the more people involved the, the worse it gets <laughs> but anyway this was uh, from a magazine I think it was a Victoria I'm not sure but I put some stickers on there for the date um, this was an overlay I printed out and I can't remember the name of the company, but I think Heidi Swap was involved in it. If I remember correctly. Um, okay, and this is the family at, at the Thanksgiving meal. And some of the grands, not all of them. <laughs> some of them. Uh, the story is in here. So I printed out the story of what was going on and who did what. Um, Black Friday. This is the first Black Friday we ever Ever went out shopping or have since <laughs> and I got the washer and dryer I wanted um, it was dark 30 you can see this little picture right here it was dark 30 and day after Thanksgiving on Black Friday yeah. <laughs> but I got what I wanted yay um, and this is the Saturday we still had family and uh, we were making phone calls and to family and whatnot and um, Yeah, we went to lunch with family on Sunday, so it was a whole weekend of, of uh, season there. Um, let's see, this is, uh, I was finishing up um, 
a project for my knitters group party. This is another overlay um, part of a clock. And all of this, you know, is because of Allie Edwards, right? Everybody knows who Allie Edwards is. She started the December Daily. So all of this is kind of going by um, what she was doing, okay, at this point. So, so December 1st, didn't really do anything much that day. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> Never mind. Here we go. So here's stories for the day. Um, this one I took a um, photo page and cut it down and did things. I think Allie Edwards must have done that and that's why I had that idea. Um, the studio was a disaster because I was making Christmas gifts. Um, okay, this scarf has got to go. Whew, hot, hot, hot. Okay, Ooh, getting warm. All right, there's another overlay. Aren't these pretty? I just love these. Ah, oh, so cool. Um, it actually snowed when they delivered the washer and dryer. It was snowing. I could not believe it. It was weird. Um, and so I took pictures of snow on the truck and all that. And of course I had to get all the snow stuff going in here. Um, and we went to the store. And there were pictures of inside the store and some stickers and lunch. And uh, we have what's called Beautifest. Um, and okay, <laughs> outside the city is the little, little Little city, well, it's growing now. The little city where we moved in 1986. We have a big house out there. Um, the boys are living in it right now. Um, but in the town, they have a festival, and it's like the first weekend in December every year, and we always go. So this is one of our traditions. And so, got a picture of <laughs> ice on the truck, which looked really nice. And I was messing with Photoshop and doing all kinds of cool things with Photoshop. Um, this this overlay is stuck to an acetate sheet. Uh, this came with the collection, the paper collection I was using. It was a, a set. I can't remember the name of it, but that's okay. Anyway, uh, my cousins surprised us, and we had a nice visit. Um, and then the knitters party. And then I just, you know, going through and just doing, okay, I made Tim tags when he was doing the 12 tags of Christmas. So I made Tim tags and that's there. And I try to write something every day, you know, just with the dates. This is the beautiful granddaughter we haven't seen in a while. So this is another Allie Edwards thing. And I love these stickers. Just love those. I've got tons of those things. But, you know, some days we didn't do much, so, you know, you just put a picture in there and it's fine. Um, this, I just did, like, in Photoshop, a, what do you call it, um, contact sheet. Yeah, contact sheet. So I did, this is a lot of the decorations at my mom's house, uh, some here, and um, I took some shots of these pretty trees that actually turned orange and gold. They were really pretty. So that was that day. And then there's a little story here. And here's another another one of those uh, acetate pieces that was in the set. Um, I was more like resting that day. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, prepping for parties. And there's a little story over here on this side. But just lots of, and this was a plastic piece that came in a set of buttons. The buttons have little trees. You know, it's a Christmas themed button set that you got like Michael's. Okay, so that's what that was. Now, okay, here's where I am um, going to work on putting, let's see, I'm up to the 21st. So December 21st is where I stopped with this. Originally, I stopped on the 16th because um, that's when I got stopped. It was just you know, it happens every year, <laughs> so I've got to get better about, you know, doing these things. But, you know, for a couple of days, there wasn't much going on, but I have to print out the pictures that go with this. And then this goes in here in this envelope, which is going to get a number on it, you know, for the date. Um, for knitting, <laughs> when I went to knitting on Mondays, um, there was a Starbucks on the way, so I would usually stop at Starbucks, and so I had to put one of my Starbucks um, 
memorabilia in there. Oh, and I also have the little stir stick that they have. It's so cute. So I made a little pocket out of that. And then that's the, the other page. And then um, the rest of this is going to be Christmas Day photos. So I just have to, the hardest part for me, like I said, is picking and printing the photos. That's what takes me forever. So that, but it's almost finished. It's almost done. And I really, really enjoy looking through it. And I think everyone else will too, once I get this dumb rings off of here. <laughs> So that's 2009, and I've got 2010. Oh, I have to wait. I gotta move my tab array. Hold on, just a second. I've gotta move the paper because it's on top of the tab array. And if I move the tab array, it'll fall. And I've gotta move that Christmas present. Okay, let me see if I can get the 2010 one. Yeah, it's not far. It's just right here. I have a drawer that that stays in. Okay. Now this is 2010, and I love the where this one is going. I just absolutely love where this one is going. Okay, so I've got to move. Let me take that out of the way. That back in the drawer. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry, I put that back in the drawer. Okay. So what I've done with this is I bought. Um, I love Bo Bunny. Okay, as y'all couldn't tell, I love Bo Bunny. And so they had this one. I think this is a this is 2010. Yeah, so it was right on right on time. But mini edgy album paper pad. So it had um, pages and the paper, and you cover it and you know do whatever you're gonna do with that. But that's that's um, the kit that I was using. So I got started, and of course I added pages, you know. You know how you do, you add pages. Okay, so this is my cover. Um, I really like that, how that turned out. Um, yes, this had glitter all over it. I shook it, rubbed it, and sealed it, okay? <laughs> no loose glitter. Uh, and these are little tiny poinsettias, they're so cute. I think I found those at Michael's. Anyway, um, in 2010, I also found uh, Chamel Lane. Um, let me see, what does she call it? Um, oh, shoot. She has a series that she does every December. Journal your Christmas or something like that. Anyway, it's in the email. So she sends you a PDF in your email. And so I discovered her. And so... Uh, you pay once and then you're a lifetime uh, member. So you can do it, you know, she just sends it to you automatically every year until you tell her to stop. So I really enjoy getting her PDFs because she has lots of ideas. And if, you, if you're if you stuck on something um, that you want to do, you want something on that day and you, you don't have anything to put there, you go to her PDF and she has ideas in there. So every every day is a PDF file and she's got ideas for you. So if you get stuck, then that's that's where I go. So this was a what she called a manifesto. So that was kind of pretty put there. And then of course the Tim Holtz tickets and you know whatnot. So and then lots of lots of different stickers and there's 3D stickers and little pictures. So I'm I'm doing a lot in Photoshop and of course here's a story in a little coin envelope with a sticker. And of course this is not the real binding. It's just yarn at the moment. <laughs> Um, things that I did, um, I was making things for the knitting group again for our party and, um, uh, the weather, you know, just different things. And then, then of course that was the second and the third, this is another Allie Edwards template, um, digital scrapbooking. Um, this page is the third and this was our, the front of our Christmas card. Um, and then there's a story that goes with that. And I put this cute little number. I love those. So I made a tab out of a ticket. And there's a long story there. I'm long-winded. I like to write. <laughs> and this is that little festival again. First weekend. And this cat. Oh, I love this. This is another Allie Edwards template. And so I journaled right in here. 
So it printed out on the photo. Um, this is the cabin from the movie The Holiday. Okay, it has, um, let's see, Jude Law. Um, okay, you know, The Holiday. All right, you know what, the movie. It's cool. Okay, I can't think right now. Sorry. Okay, uh, Christmas party. I had people sign the card on the back of this one so I could stick it in here and pictures from. From that and I did these digital, laid them out digital and printed the sheets. Okay, and this is the seventh. I love this paper. Oh gosh, so beautiful. And then more digital. And then here's one of the shaped papers and you cover the paper and you sand the edges and all of that. This was a theme from Chamel. Okay, I'm not sure I'm saying her name right, <laughs> but anyway. Um, and of course, there's a story in here. I put a little sticker on the inside. I love where this is going. Um, it's just great. This is Baking Day. Um, there's another shaped page. Oh, it's out of the yarn. That's okay. But I used one of the little turn, photo turns, I think is what they call those. Anyway, and here's the, the journaling here and some more stickers. And then um, I was going to make a pocket out of this. This was a free CD uh, that came with something. I don't remember. Anyway, I was going to make a pocket out of it. Um, I had already put a little piece of ephemera on there. And I was going to make a pocket. And then this is just the papers that haven't gotten anywhere past that. And so, so I've inserted the shaped pages in different places and so that's that's where that is at at this moment um, about halfway done so I'm gonna finish the 2009 one after I finish this year I'm gonna finish the 2009 then I'll work on this one again I've got all the photos and everything you know all the journaling and all the photos but I just need to time to continue and you know and do it so you know that's the way it goes <sighs> that's my life you know <laughs> You make a plan and it gets messed up. That's just the way it is. <laughs> you learn to deal with it. So that's that's where I am. And you know what? I am exhausted. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to have to stop for today. I am really tired. It just hit me. I had a busy week with you know boxing the gifts and wrapping the gifts and. Uh, you know, just all the stuff you have to do before holidays. And I can't believe Christmas is next Thursday. That's amazing. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to stream next Friday. I might. Um, I kind of doubt it, but you never know. Uh, I'll have to let y'all know on Thursday, Thursday night. And uh, if I know myself, I may have to wait till Friday morning. <laughs> I know I've been talking nonstop. I know that's so weird. Now you watch when I go into Barb's stream, I'll be talking to y'all with <laughs> I forget to type. I do it every time. I'll just start talking. It's like, oh, <laughs> wait, <laughs> I have to type. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. All right. So y'all have a great holiday. I'll probably see y'all on Twitter, but you know, y'all have a great holiday and um, a relaxing holiday. Don't work too hard. Eileen feel better. Nobody else gets sick. <laughs> you know, all of that good stuff. Oh, hi, Sherry. I'm still unpacking. Yeah. Oh, congrats, Sherry, on the house. Yay. All right. I will see you guys. If y'all have any questions, tweet me. Um, other than that, I'll see you later.